Mark Jacobs is an American fashion designer. He is the head designer for his own fashion label, Mark Jacobs, and formerly Mark by Mark Jacobs, a diffusion line, which was produced for approximately 15 years having been discontinued after the 2015 fall-slash-winter collection. At one point there were over 200 retail stores in 80 countries. He was the creative director of the French design house Louis Vuitton from 1997 to 2014. Jacobs was on Time Magazine's 2010 Time 100 list of the 100 most influential people in the world, and was number 14 on Out Magazine's 2012 list of 50 most powerful, gay men and women in America. He was married on April 6, 2019 to his longtime partner, Charlie D. Francesco. Chapter 1 – Early Life and Education Jacobs was born to a non-observant Jewish family in New York City. When he was seven, his father, an agent at the William Morris Agency, died. His mother, who remarried three times, was, according to Jacobs, mentally ill and didn't really take care of her kids. As a teenager, he went to live with his paternal grandmother on the Upper West Side, in an apartment in the Majestic on Central Park West. Jacobs grew up in Teaneck, New Jersey and attended Teaneck High School. He attended the High School of Art and Design and studied at the Parsons School of Design in New York. While at Parsons in 1984, he won the Perry Ellis Gold Thimble Award, Chester Weinberg Gold Thimble Award, and Design Student of the Year. In 1987 he became the youngest designer ever to receive the Council of Fashion Designers of America's Perry Ellis Award for New Fashion Talent. He also won the Women's Designer of the Year Award from the Council of Fashion Designers of America in 1993. Chapter 2 – Career At age 15, Jacobs worked as a stock boy at Charivari, a now-defunct avant-garde clothing boutique in New York City. While still at Parsons, he designed and sold his first line of hand-knit sweaters. He also designed his first collection for Reuben Thomas Incorporated, under the sketchbook label. With Robert Duffy, Jacobs's creative collaborator, and business partner since the mid-1980s, he formed Jacobs Duffy Designs. In 1986, backed by Onward Kashiyama USA Incorporated, Jacobs designed his first collection bearing the Mark Jacobs label. In 1987, he was the youngest designer to have ever been awarded the fashion industry's highest tribute, the Council of Fashion Designers of America's Perry Ellis Award for New Fashion Talent. In 1988, Jacobs and Duffy joined the Women's Design Unit of Perry Ellis as Creative Director slash Vice President and President, respectively, following the death of its namesake and founder. In addition, Jacobs oversaw the design of the various women's licensees. In 1992, the Council of Fashion Designers of America awarded Jacobs with the Women's Designer of the Year Award. In the same year, he designed a grunge collection for Perry Ellis, leading to his dismissal. In the fall of 1993, Jacobs Duffy Designs Incorporated launched their own licensing and design company, Mark Jacobs International Company, LP. In 1994, Jacobs produced his first full collection of menswear. In 1997, Jacobs was appointed Louis Vuitton's creative director, where he created the company's first ready-to-wear clothing line. Jacobs has collaborated with many popular artists for his Louis Vuitton collections, including Stephen Sprouse, Takashi Murakami, and most recently American artist Richard Prince and rapper Kanye West. In the spring of 2001, Jacobs introduced his secondary line, Mark by Mark Jacobs. In 2005, Look was the Mark by Mark Jacobs ready-to-wear license holder in Japan with retail value of 50 million euros. In 2006, Jacobs started a new line of body splash fragrances in 10-ounce bottles which are distributed by Coty. First being sold only in perfume boutiques, they have become more and more popular. In 2007 filmmaker Loïc Prigent released a documentary film about Jacobs entitled Mark Jacobs and Louis Vuitton. In February 2008, Jacobs was accused of plagiarizing a scarf design created in the 1950s by Swedish designer Jörste Olofsson. 
Jacobs settled the matter by offering monetary compensation to Olafsson's son. In 2009, Jacobs launched a shirt, sold at his stores, demanding the legalization of gay marriage. In May 2009, Jacobs co-hosted, with fashion model Kate Moss, a model and news-themed gala for the New York City Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute. In February 2010, Jacobs sued Ed Hardy for infringing on the designs of one of his embroidered handbags. In the course of the Mercedes-Benz Berlin Fashion Week in July 2011 Jacobs was the patron of the Young Talent Award designer for Tomorrow by Peek and Klopenburg. The five finalists were selected by Jacob and the jury board and received a personal coaching by Jacobs. The jury board and Jacobs appointed the winner of 2011 during the DFT Award show. In August 2011, it was reported that Jacobs may succeed John Galliano as creative director of Christian Dior. According to the Daily Telegraph, Jacobs firmly laid to rest rumors that he was to move to Christian Dior in January 2012, but rumors prevailed. In February 2013, Jacobs was named the new creative director for Diet Coke. In honor of the brand's 30th anniversary, Jacobs would spend one year where he was slated to give the brand a stylish and light-hearted makeover. In March 2013, the New York Daily News revealed that the faux fur used in many Marc Jacobs garments is actually the fur from raccoon dogs from China. In October 2013, after the spring-slash-summer 2014 show, it was revealed that Marc Jacobs would leave Louis Vuitton to focus on his own line. On January 9, 2014, it was announced that Jacobs's new spring-slash-summer collection would feature actress slash in a Miley Cyrus, photographed by David Sims. On February 26, 2014, it was announced that actress Jessica Lange would be the new face of Marc Jacobs' beauty. In addition, it was announced that Lange would be featured in the brand's summer-slash-fall print ad campaign photographed by David Sims, and would also star in a short campaign film directed by Jacobs to start streaming online May 5, 2014. Previously, Jacobs had dressed and interviewed Lang for Love magazine's fifth anniversary issue, and had her provide a spoken word version of Happy Days Are Here Again as the soundtrack for his autumn-slash-winter 2014 show. Jacobs decided to rely on social media to cast models for Mark by Mark Jacobs's autumn-slash-winter 2014 campaign and with its success did so again for spring-slash-summer 2015 with photographer David Sims, with models including Aaron Whitty, Abigail Lip, Amy Woodman, Anna Victoria, Dylan Stevens, Eb Yumbi, Lindsay Lurgin, Mackenzie Cockerill, Nadia Kishlan, and Tokes at Wetton. In February 2018, LVMH confirmed that Baha East co founder John Targan would join Mark Jacobs as creative director of Contemporary. On August 26, 2019, Jacobs was presented with MTV's first Fashion Trailblazer Award at the Video Music Awards, in partnership with the Council of Fashion Designers of America. Chapter 2, Section 1 Awards. Council of Fashion Designers of America. MTV VMA Fashion Trailblazer Award, 2019. Women's Wear Designer of the Year, 2016. Lifetime Achievement Award, 2011. Women's Wear Designer of the Year, 2010. Accessory Designer of the Year, 2005. Accessory Designer of the Year, 2003. Menswear Designer of the Year, 2002. Accessory Designer of the Year, 1999. Accessory Designer of the Year, 1998. Women's Wear Designer of the Year, 1997. Women's Wear Designer of the Year, 1992. Women's Wear Designer of the Year, 1991. Chapter 2 Section 2, Mark Jacobs Stores In summer 2013, there were 285 Mark Jacobs retail stores in 60 countries. In December 2013, the new Mark Jacobs flagship store opened in Shanghai. In March 2015, Jacobs announced the end of his secondary brand Mark by Mark Jacobs in order to focus on the development of his main label, and to target to a more luxury-oriented audience. Chapter 3, Style 
Explaining his clothes, Jacobs has said what I prefer is that even if someone feels hedonistic, they don't look it. Curiosity about sex is much more interesting to me than domination, my clothes are not hot. Never. Never. The audience for his fashion shows typically includes celebrities like Kim Gordon and Vincent Gallo. Guy Trebe, a critic for the New York Times, in response to Oscar de la Renta's comment that a coat designed by Jacobs closely resembled one that de la Renta had designed 30 years earlier, wrote that unlike the many brand name designers who promote the illusion that their output results from a single prodigious creativity, Mr. Jacobs makes no pretense that fashion emerges full blown from the head of one solitary genius. Jacobs was one of the first fashion designers to establish this street wise aesthetics, a a little preppy, a little grunge, a little couture. The Marc Jacobs brand is also known for fine arts driven and avante garde AD campaigns, often featuring a group of cultural icons and artists in lieu of traditional fashion models in minimally staged settings, and photographed by high profile photographers. In 2015, Jacobs launched a popular lifestyle campaign that featured artists, celebrities, and cultural icons such as Sofia Coppola, Cher, Willow Smith, Winona Ryder, Daisy Lowe, and Anthony Kiedis. Jacobs revisited this approach for the Marc Jacobs Spring 2016 advertising campaign, describing the concept as a fashion story representing a series of connected events, a visual narrative. It is a personal diary of people who have and continue to inspire me, and open my mind to different ways of seeing and thinking. The spectrum of individuals photographed in our spring-slash-summer 2016 AD campaign represent a celebration of my America. Adding, the people featured in our campaign personify this collection of fashion through their individuality. Collectively, they embody and celebrate the spirit and beauty of equality. DNA Silver, from TheObserver.com, called it the best campaign of the spring 2016 season. She then elaborates about what makes this campaign notable, the designer has handpicked a star-studded cast of his family members to model the Americana gear from this collection. Adding technically speaking, none of the people in this series of photographs are related to Mr. Jacobs by blood, but rather, they're people who mean a lot to the Marc Jacobs brand. The Marc Jacobs Spring 2016 advertising campaign featured Lana Wachowski, Sandra Bernhardt, Betty Midler, Juliette Lewis, Christina Ricci, Sky Ferreira, Bella Hadid, and Emily Ratajkowski as well as lesser-known artists Vincent Mycord, Oli Burslem, and Milk, a contestant from RuPaul's Drag Race, as well as several runway models. Chapter 4, Personal Life and Causes Jacobs has an ongoing project entitled, Protect the Skin You're In, which has celebrities pose nude, with their breasts and frontal area covered, for t-shirts to raise awareness about melanoma, all sales benefit research at the NYU Langone Medical Center. Some of the celebrities that have posed are Miley Cyrus, Eva Mendes, Kate Upton, Victoria Beckham, Heidi Klum, Hilary Swank, Cara Delevingne, and Naomi Campbell. On April 4, 2018, Jacobs proposed to his then boyfriend, Charlie De Francesco, via a flash mob while in a Chipotle restaurant. The flash mob did a routine to the song Kiss by Prince. They were married in a lavish wedding held in New York City on April 7, 2019. The couple purchased a home in Rye, New York in April 2019. The Westchester home was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, and is known as the Max Hoffman House.